You ever wonder why you see YouTubers drink every single time they're on camera? It's because we talk so much and our throat gets dry. It's just so you know, that's a little FYI if you wanted to know why we drink a lot. Hi friends, today I'm going to be creating this look while I talk to you about a few things that have been going on. I know that I needed to do this update for a long time, but I've had other things going that I wanted to keep doing. And so I'm gonna be talking about my own health, my haircut, which was a huge change for me after five years, and also my hubby and the different things that have been going on with him. So if you wanna hear all about my personal life and the things that have been going on, stay tuned and we'll get ready together. So I really won't talk about products very much in this video. I'll just kind of list and link them below for you. One thing is that I'm doing a video of my favorites from LA girl and nyx on the drugstore beauty brand superstar so those will be up pretty soon and you'll be able to see those and that's what i'm using mostly here is just those two brands just so you know that so let's talk about my hubby first of all he had an accident um last year as some of you know he fell um he was yarding on some equipment and he fell off the back of his flatbed and landed on the back of his head if you don't know that already and he split his head wide open i had some pictures over there on facebook that were kind of gruesome or on instagram and Facebook that were kind of gruesome but yeah he split his head open it was not a good thing um just really it was a bad time and he just really had a bad concussion I didn't realize how awful concussions were that were really bad because I've only seen very mild ones his was really severe and so I didn't really realize how badly they could really hurt people and the fact that you can't have any pain medicine whatsoever when your brain's involved because they don't know you know when you could be going you know slipping into a coma or when you could be incoherent and have some brain damage or a brain bleed so but he did really well he had staples once the staples got out then he was doing much better he's very accident prone just so you guys know that it's really hard with him because he is very very accident prone and he just has a tendency to find the weirdest things and so yeah we've always got something going on also um he recently was working on a boat outside in our front yard and his he was trying to start it and you know the motor is one of those pull motors and he was trying to start it and what happened was his finger got ripped back up into the reel there and he ended up taking off the tip of his finger and um, kind of well not kind of he broke it in four places so this part of his finger right here was just basically obliterated and so yeah we thought he was going to have to have that taken off or amputated and it ended up that they just sewed it back on and tried to get it to heal well this is like I don't know this is like maybe three or four weeks later now and just a couple of days ago we were uh taking out the stitches the doctor said we could take out the stitches anyway we took out the stitches and it doesn't look like he's going to have any sort of fingernail which is obvious but yeah he completely ripped off the end of it and he's such a guy that just pushes through everything he's a trucker he's never missed very much work in his life as a matter of fact in the almost 10 years that we've been married nine years that we've been married um i think he's missed two days of work and that was because he was operated on so uh, yeah he's one of those guys that just keeps going no matter what and then my haircut a lot of you <laughs> have asked about um, my haircut and you've talked about that you would really like to see a tutorial and I would normally do that but I really am not great at doing hair tutorials I do my hair and you know it looks fine but honestly i don't do a lot to it and so when i do a hair tutorial it hardly gets any views on youtube and so i kind of shy away from doing those and i just chopped off seven inches of it because it was really falling out and it was getting really bad i have always loved my longer hair but there was a point when i was just like if i don't cut some of this off it's just going to keep looking really bad and the only alternative i had at that point was to pull it up like this and so i had it up in every day anyway why didn't i just you know cut it off and that's my thing even with having short hairs i love to have my hair up off my neck for most of the summer so i'm going to be wearing this little nice thing a lot this summer <laughs> because it's really short and i pre i plan on keeping it a little bit shorter at least shoulder length i plan on doing that because i it just looks much more healthy and i like it a lot better that's the other thing i've been in bed with my fibromyalgia for a few days and i just don't feel the greatest so everything's getting like half done 
done around my world right now, but I definitely wanted to do this health update though. So I am going to kind of bling it out here and do a little bit of green on my eyelids though. And I love these greens in here. They're so pretty. So yeah, I probably can do some sort of a tutorial and maybe I'll even do something on Instagram or Facebook, maybe one of my stories or something where you guys can kind of see, you know, how I do it. And then we'll talk about my heart and everything that happened with that. So way back in November of last year, I had to go um, into the emergency room because I felt like my heart was doing something weird and I felt like I was going to pass out all the time. And I ended up going to emergency room and they found what's called a left bundle branch block and it's when the signal on the bottom of your heart is not getting the signal correctly up to the top and it can make you have palpitations or you know an irregular heartbeat and whatnot and that's what I was doing but the other thing that was happening is I was passing out and I was feeling terrible and they couldn't figure out what any of that was and so that was in like mid-November somewhere around that time and then I went to a cardiologist and I went to all these studies I had my heart checked an echocardiogram a sonogram Let's see what else did I have done I had the stress test I wore a heart monitor I had just about everything done that they can do for you and everything showed up that my heart was fine even the heart monitor even though I was having like it was something like almost 700 irregular beats in a 24-hour period they said that they don't consider that dangerous until it gets to a thousand and I was like that sounds really weird, <laughs> but he reassured me that I was okay. After they did all the testing and everything came back normal, um, they just said, you know, you're fine, you can go home. Well, I just continued to pass out. And, you know, I'd wake up on the floor, or I'd like have, we had chairs like in between here in my kitchen, and my bed is right next to my bathroom, thank goodness, but I was basically in bed for like two and a half months. And finally, um, I guess about, five weeks after really having a lot of passing out like that I just called and asked who I could be referred to beyond the cardiologist and they said you can go to an electrocardiophysicist I think that's what it is anyway he's a cardiologist that de deals directly with the electrical pulse and what happens when you stand up or when you sit down and that's the other thing I was passing out only when I would stand up um, because what would happen is my heart rate would go crazy and my blood pressure would drop and so they finally did that test where you're sitting down and they do your blood pressure and your heart rate and then you stand up and all of those things went you know crazy and um, upside down so my blood pressure would go down my heart rate would just skyrocket what happens is the impulse or the signal is not um, telling your heart to pull all of that blood that it's got in your legs or your extremities and bring it to your brain and then your brain doesn't get enough and your body just passes out because it's not getting enough oxygen or enough blood up there long story short I had to wait a long 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 time to get into that doctor it took me another six weeks so total of three months so I, it was towards the middle of February and I go in there and basically what he did was he went over the list of my medications and I had been put on um, um, a medication which is called amitriptyline for my trigeminal neuralgia that I have right here in the side of my face and that medication hasn't even been on the market for a long time I was put on it several years ago and what happened was when they doubled it which was like four months five months before all these symptoms showed up it caused all of these extra symptoms so if I'd stayed on the very very minor dose I would have been fine but because this was flaring so bad and I was in so much pain they doubled that dose and it was a very dangerous medication and it just completely messed up everything he took me off that medication and within a month I was close to back to normal the only problem is is now after all of that and after all of the problems I now am left with more shaking than I ever had before because basically amitriptyline was that drug and it messed me up really bad and it caused my tremors to be a lot worse in my hands. While I was on it, it was working um, on the nervous system, I guess, and calming it quite a bit. That's what was helping me not have this nerve pain right here in my face. But now all of my hand issues where my 
um, palsy and my tremors are with my disability has been amplified. I apologize if I haven't done as many tutorials or as many get ready with me as everybody would like to see. I would like to do more. However, it's just not something that I can do very much. In one of my recent videos, I said eyebrows are the bane of my existence. Well, that's why, because I shake so much and I get so nervous doing them that it's really hard for me to do them on camera. And saying that, I'm gonna go off a of camera and do this other eyebrow. <laughs> so fast forward to now, I am doing okay with it. I don't have the passing out hardly ever, hardly at all ever. And that was the biggest thing for me as I was just having such a hard time with, um, you know, trying to be by myself. It was hard to be by myself. There were days that I just went over to my folks because I figured if I fell that they could at least call 911 for me. Going forward, I am not on a medication for my trigeminal neuralgia, which has really kind of messed me up. It's just been one of those things that has just been really hard to deal with because it's so painful, but I would rather have that than the passing out, obviously. And the other thing is that I try really hard to take better care of myself right now. I wasn't really doing that very much, especially while my folks were sick. And I don't know if any of you know this, but my folks had COVID. And then right after that, and they came through it fine. Everything went good. Um, they were, they just had very mild symptoms, which I was shocked because they're in their 80s. Very blessed that nothing happened with that. But um, the other thing that really kind of was upsetting is that um, my mom broke her ribs just a few weeks ago and she has been in bed and so, you know, she couldn't do anything for herself. So we have been kind of doing nursing care around the clock for a couple weeks. And so last week was really the first week that we had time when we didn't have to like be there all the time. So that was good, but it just has been really a difficult, a difficult time, a difficult 2020 and even going into 2021, it's been hard, but we just, and you wonder why I lost my hair. That's why I lost my hair because I was just under so much stress and everything was just so traumatic and you know bam in your face type stuff oh by the way my heart diagnosis was called POTS a sterile orthostatic orthostatic tachycardia syndrome POTS I do saw that a little bit but it's nothing like it was thank goodness because it could have been so much worse and the medication getting off the medication really helped me a ton i want to take this time to say thank you to all of you because you really truly have just been such a blessing during all of that i was having such a hard time and going through so much and i know it seemed like every other day i was posting something that was going on but that's how it felt too everything was just out of control and crazy and i was just like when is this gonna slow down can i get off this roller coaster ride yet and it was just one of those times when you just feel like, wow, I'm just so overwhelmed. But you guys, you were always there with encouraging thoughts and encouraging words. And I just want to say thank you for that because it does mean more than you know. You know, sometimes when you are um, kind of bed bound and things aren't going, you know, like you had planned them to, or you're not feeling that good, sometimes you feel really alone. And you guys help to make me not feel alone, not to feel that loneliness. And I just want to say thank you so much for doing that for me. It was such a big help. I can't talk and do my lips at the same time. So I did those off of camera. And again, all these products will be listed below if you're interested. And I just wanted to make sure that I let you know that everything is going better and that everything is doing so much better. And I apologize for not getting you an update sooner than this, but sometimes filming just is a little bit crazy and you just have to kind of go with the flow. Going forward, I would really like to know what you guys would like like to see from my content on my channel that's one thing that I really have been kind of struggling with is I like what I'm doing right now but I want to make sure that you guys are liking it too and my views are kind of showing that you guys do we're growing as a channel and things are going so much better and I just appreciate all of you for all of that support it's just it's so nice to have that backing that little kind of reassurance that you're kind of on the right track you know what i mean it's something that really helps a lot when you're doing youtube you know when you don't get very many views and you look around for at people that are um on there later than you started your channel is kind of going crazy it just kind of makes you second guess what you're doing you can't do this and talk either the thing i can't do on camera is my eyelashes so i'll be right back <laughs> put on some of my favorite earrings. Thank you, Diane. You're a sweetheart for sending those to me. And I just pulled my hair down or I let my hair down. I didn't pull it 
down and just kind of fluffed it up a little bit. This is the finished look with the mascara and the lips. Hope that you guys did enjoy this chatty get ready with me. Again, I want to say thank you so much for all of your loving support through everything that I've been through, but supporting my channel means more than you can ever imagine because I feel a little bit validated over what I'm doing in the channel and what, what direction it's going in. So thank you guys so much for all of that support. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up on your way out of here. I love you very much and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye friends.